you know what? This isn't so bad. Oh, this is nothing. Great white out of 1888, they had to shut down Maine. Literally closed it like it was a Denny's. Yeah. 61st. Well, 400 people still died that day. But we will be fine. Move it! Snow day, Dora. Snow day! No, I this. hear you. Look at this cool story. You. When's the last time you got an ambulance in here? 47 minutes ago. This is Max Goodwin at New Amsterdam. I need to talk to EMS Division Chief Molinari. I'm on. What's going on out there? There's a huge pile up on 35th. Snow plows can't get through to Murray Hill or Kipps Bay. Are calls coming in? Many, but without snow plows, our vehicles can't get to them. Chief, send me a log of all your incoming calls and keep them coming. Copy that. People can't get to this hospital, and you need to bring this hospital to them. I know being stuck at the hospital during a blizzard sucks, but you know what's worse? Needing 911 in a blizzard and being told that no one is coming. So I have here a list of 911 calls within a half mile of New Amsterdam. Ambulances can't get to them, but we can. And yes, conditions are bad out there, but we have got parkas, and we have got emergency packs, and we have got putzba. Everybody is going to pair up for safety, and we're going to give you a GPS locator so we can track you from right here in the hospital. And to be clear, nobody has to go. But we're their only shot. So any volunteers? Sweet. I've missed field medicine. I'll go with you. Casey and Flores, yes, you guys have a doorman whose arm was sliced by a snowblower, 1891 East 23rd Street. Uh, Nottingham, Moreland, you've got a college kid who OD'd 32nd and 1st. Let's make sure we have naloxone. No Great. Levi Park, we have a man who's fallen down, can't move, maybe unconscious. On it. Thank you. I'll go with you. And uh, calls keep pouring in, so just find your patient, treat them, and get back here so we can send you right back out to treat the next person. And guys, let's be careful out there. I always wanted to say that. Have you seen our guy? I can barely see you. Wait, what's that? Oh, God. That's him. Sir, can you hear me? Equal round, reactive to light. His heart rate's around 30. Cold weather really slowed him down. I can't move. It's OK. You fell and hit your head. What's your name? Hugh <coughs> Zerone. I'm Dr. Reynolds. This is Dr. Jessup. We're from New Amsterdam. We're here to help you. Go help my husband. Your husband? <laughs> I was running home from the pharmacy when I slipped and fell. His glucose was monitoring 475 when I left. Mr. Tyrone, where do you live? Oh, just a few blocks from here on 29th. 464. Apartment 1043. OK, and the prescription? Oh, it's in my left pocket. Got it. Run. 29th. 464. Apartment 1043. OK. Don't worry, I got you. All right? You're gonna be all right. Because we wouldn't be having this conversation, Mr. Jerome. Feels like you're about to become an important person in my life. Just call me Hugh. All right, Hugh. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out exactly how the spike is penetrating you. Well, it definitely doesn't feel like missionary. <laughs> oh, God. apologies. 
Eric says I should know people a little better before I make those kinds of jokes. Yeah. Lift up a little. Oh, gosh, thank you. I, I'm, I'm not cold. You're not? Killers, you're gonna feel some stuff. Stop! No. No, no, I'm sorry. Keep going, keep going. Hey, why don't you tell me about Eric? What's he like? We've been married for six years. Together since 1987. Eric is smart and funny. Oh, yeah? So loving. He's also the world's best procrastinator. He promised he would refill his insulin two days ago. I should have just done it for him. Yeah, look where that literally landed me. <laughs> yeah, my mom forgets to do things. Simple things, you know? Like I told her. Before the storm hit to go to my sister's and she forgot. But she's old, you know, it's not her fault. But I still get mad at her. I don't even know why. Maybe you're scared that she's starting to decline. I don't know, I never really talked to anyone about it. Damn thing broke. You have to leave me now, don't you? No. You're coming with me. I thought that wasn't an option. Well, now it's our only option. If you pull me off, won't I die? If we stay here, you definitely will. Loaded you up with morphine. The hospital's about six blocks away. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on three, all right? out into a million storms. <laughs> All right. You stay with me. Just look at me, okay? Uh -huh. All right, I got you. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. One. Uh -huh. Two. Three. Get off me. 